Let's get into some Tesla news today and if you like to stay up to date with the latest EV news and reviews, smash that subscribe button. And now for our first topic, Tesla customers in Texas are reporting earnings up to $150 a day. You can make that in a day job, believe it or not. <laughs> now that's crazy, but how? Well, that's due to Tesla's virtual power plant now boasting over 6 million watts of power. Just last year, after mastering virtual power plants, Tesla took things to the next level, launching Tesla Electric. Rather than just providing services to your local electric utilities, Tesla Electric buys and sells electricity from Tesla Powerwall owners. It's kind of a buffer against peak prices, turning Tesla into an energy retailer. It's only in Texas, don't get your hopes up, but Tesla is planning to expand this venture into other states. It's under a program called the ADER project. And spoiler alert, it's proving highly successful, especially during these summer heat waves. If you live in Florida, you know what I'm talking about. Some lucky Tesla electric participants reported earning as much as $150 a day, selling the electricity back to the grid. The interface is cool and shows in real time how much you're earning from your system. All you need is solar power and Tesla power walls. The, it's not a light ask, but think about it. If you make $150 a day, you could get a free Tesla. Don't tell them I told you. All right, moving on for a second topic. We got an update straight from Elon himself. He's no stranger to getting ahead of himself, but he has something real interesting to say about the Tesla full self-driving. According to Elon, Tesla will achieve full self-driving level four or five by the end of the year. Will you be able to take naps, you ask? That's an amazing question. Well, in the world of self-driving vehicles, level four means the car can't handle all driving tasks in certain conditions. They saying I drove a getaway car, but I'm legally blind, so how I'm gonna drive a car? While in level five, it means I could do so at any time, anywhere, any conditions. So maybe, but I wouldn't recommend it. Since 2016, Tesla has promised that every car sold eventually will drive itself and be even safer than a human driver. The plan for this was to happen through software updates. And I know this was not true because my car is still not driving itself. Okay, but with the release of Tesla's full self-driving beta, these goals have become somewhat murky, like some nasty waters. And after missing his targets a few times, Tesla has toned down the claims with Elon himself not giving specific timelines anymore. Recently, at an AI conference in China, Musk stated that Tesla is very close to achieving full self-driving without human supervision. Again, but he remained unclear on the level of autonomy. Is he referring to level level six level seven what's he talking about come on elon go ahead and tweet at max and fix this not being clear led to some criticism including for me given that the jump from level two to level three means the car not the driver is responsible and level five should be able to drive in any condition these are massive leaps and the fact that elon casually says four or five has some people doubting half the year's already gone and elon's timeline is just a few months away can Tesla deliver? You'll have to subscribe to find out. So smash that button, please. Here's a picture of a baby koala. Next up for a third topic, we take a deep dive into the future of 2025 Tesla Model S. The Model S is getting old and it hasn't seen a big update to the exterior since 2016. And the last time the interior was revamped was in early 2021, which feels like yesterday, but we're already almost in 2024. With design being an important part in selling a car, we anticipate another major update is on its way. It could be inspired by the Tesla Roadster with a grillless face and sharper, slimmer headlights. And to keep up in the race, we would expect a plaid model to continue breaking records with its mind-bending acceleration. Tesla has been working on a new 4860 battery made to form a pack that serves as a structure of the car. If they add this to the updated Model S, we could see a range beyond 400 miles on a single charge. That's a 16% range increase with the new battery design. This could mean they can make the interior bigger, possibly even the return on the third row jump seats, increasing the capacity to seven passengers. In terms of cost, we anticipate starting price of around $90,000 with additional options like full self-driving and the Plaid model, adding more to the price, of course. Finally, when should we expect this update? The refreshed Model S is expected to hit the roads in 2025 as a 2025 or uh, maybe a 2026 model. 
That wraps up our preview into the future with the 2025 Tesla Model S. Let me know that in the comments if you're gonna be getting one. Make sure you give the video a like and smash that subscribe button. Now I got somewhere else to be. Peace.